Ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Squeaky Rap, and this is my York Guide. York is an incredibly powerful sustained laner who exerts his dominance through never dying while constantly forcing his opponent out of lane for fear of their own dwindling life force finally running out. While Yorick has no real kill potential himself, he's a great asset to any team composition, especially if the enemy top lane is trying to snowball, since Yorick's skills help him keep those snowballing champions constantly low on health while Yorick is stocked right up. For summoner spells, Flash, Ignite, and Teleport are your primary choices. Teleport over Ignite is usually a better idea, however, since Yorick is great at split pushing fast, but Ignite lets him actually secure kills in the early game that would otherwise escape. For runes, I'd take a normal 80s setup, whereas for masteries, I tend to go far deeper into the defensive tree to utilize Yorick's innate tankiness and sustain and push it a few steps further. Before we tackle items, let's talk about Yorick's abilities. Yorick's passive, Unholy Covenant, allows Yorick to deal 5% more damage with his basic attacks and reduces incoming damage by 5% for every ghoul or revenant he has active, stacking up to 4 times for a maximum of 20% more damage done and 20% less damage taken. Yorick's Q, Omen of War, deals bonus physical damage on his next attack and summons a ghoul that deals more damage and is faster than the other ghouls. This also increases Yorick's movement speed significantly while it's active. Yorick's W, Omen of Pestilence, deals magical damage in an area of effect that slows enemies when it's cast and summons a ghoul that slows all enemies around itself by half of the initial slow until it dies. Yorick's E, Almond of Famine, deals magical damage and is a single target spell that heals Yorick when it's cast and summons a ghoul that heals Yorick every time it attacks, healing him for more health when it attacks champions instead of minions. This is Yorick's best spell in lane and should be maxed first. Yorick's R, Omen of Death, summons a revenant of an allied champion or himself that has a portion of the target's health, scaling up to 100% by level 3, and also has a portion of the target's attack damage, which scales up to 75% by level 3, at the time the ultimate was cast. This means that if your target goes back and buys an item after your revenant has been cast, it will not gain bonus health or attack damage. The revenant lasts up to 10 seconds, and if the target of Yorick's ultimate dies before the 10 seconds are up, the dead champion will take over the revenant for 10 seconds, healing them to completely full health. The maximum time a revenant can be up is 20 seconds. As for items, Yorick benefits great from cooling reduction and other items that make him hard to kill. To start, a flask, one health potion, and two mana potions is what you should be looking at. Yorick's best harass also heals him, so utilizing that and regenerating mana is better than regenerating health, but not having any mana for Yorick to do what he does best. Keep his opponents out of the slay. From there, grab a Tear of the Goddess. Due to how much harass you're going to be trying to put out, it's great to keep your mana at least somewhat full and will be turned into a mirror mana later. From there, I like to build a Phage, then grab my Tier 1 boots and transition into a Black Cleaver. Black Cleaver shreds armor every time Yorick's Q Ghoul or Yorick auto attacks and the Phage passive procs on that as well, which gives him decent chase with his Q speed boost and his W slow. To continue along this path, I like taking Iceborne Gauntlet, which makes Yorick both tankier and harder to escape while improving his damage significantly with Sheen and giving him a lot more mana. After that, upgrade your boots to Ninja Tabby or Merc Freds. You don't need the boots of Lucidity because Black Cleaver and Iceborne Gauntlet nearly cap you out, and you may buy a Spear Visage later due to how well it synergizes with your kit. Your tier should be nearly full by now, so buy a Man Immune and then look at further defensive options. Sphere Passage, Banshee's Veil, Guardian Angel, Landruin's Omen, Sunfire Cave, and Thornmail are great pickups. You won't generally need Frozen Heart as much as these other pickups, but it serves a niche spot if you need it. For example, against two Marksmen, one might pick up Frozen Heart and either Randuin's Omen or Thornmail. If they have strong mixed damage and you like the thought of Teleport Split Push Yorick, perhaps a Zrop Portal is more your style. It gives the best flat hybrid defense in the game and is great for pushing towers down. During the early game, Yorick can easily force his opposition out of the lane if they don't have 10,000 types of sustain. His ghouls are fantastic at keeping him safe and keeping his opponents low. Yorick has rather low kill potential by himself, but if you have someone low in lane, your jungle can easily come and help pick up a kill or two. That said, remember that because of Yorick's playstyle, you'll usually be pushed far into the lane and you'll be an easy gank as well. Take precautions to prevent yourself from dying by buying wards and placing them strategically around the map. Here for red side, and here for blue side. 
If you keep up the pressure all throughout the early game, your opponent should be very far behind you in CS, and you should be asserting your dominance by harassing them under the tower with your ghouls and looking for potential teleport ganks while transitioning into the mid game. Your arc will still want to pressure top lane as much as he possibly can, but keep looking for potential picks and ways to help your team. Usually, you'd want to leave top lane and look to help your team take objectives like Dragon or their own lane towers. Save teleport to go back to your lane when you're losing ground, and push up as far as you feel is safe before going back to help your team. In the late game, your role is that of a frontline bruiser. While you shouldn't necessarily be diving your enemy, you should at least be acting as a wall between them and your marksman or mid laner. Protect your team, and victory will quickly be within your grasp. Tips, tricks, and facts. York's Q Ghost deals physical damage and thus works with the Rage passive. This can speed him up to 35% of his usual movement speed, plus an additional 20, making it incredibly hard to escape from him. York's Q will reset his auto attack timer and can crit, but does not apply lifesteal and does not proc on towers. York's W will apply spell effects when it's summoned, such as Rylize and Spellvamp, and has a 100% AP ratio. This is, however, York's only AP ratio. Don't build him as AP. I know how fun it can potentially be bursting an entire team for that much damage, but don't. Trust me, just don't. York's W's auto attacks deal magical damage and thus don't proc the Rage item passive. York's E's initial heal is calculated after armor is taken into effect, not before. However, the auto attacks of the ghoul always heal for the same amount. Sadly, this ghoul will deal magic damage and does not proc the Rage passive. The fact that York's W and E both deal magical damage make it incredibly difficult to itemize against York, especially since his E scales off York's AD, but its attacks are magical. York's R applies all on-hit effects that the original champion can apply, and can critically strike. This means that marksmen like Vayne and assassins like Master Yi and Yasuo are the best characters to use the spell on in a teamfight, especially because they can come back after they die if Revenant is still up. If the character under York's R dies and comes back to life, they only lose stacks on items like Sword of the Occult and Mijai Soul Stealer once, on their initial death. This means that any sacks they gain while using Revenant will stick with them after the spell times out and kills them a second time. Thank, Thank you all so much for watching my Yorick guy and may the ghouls lead you to victory. Until then, good luck and make sure they remember. Infinite power.